What's up everybody? Tiffany Outdoors here. Today we're going to be working on this. Stay tuned. There's the hawk. Before there was a Tiffany Outdoors, there was Tiffany the Farmer. Farm you turn when possible. No, we're not. When I bought this trailer, the um, <clears throat> the boards were in great shape, so bought it, parked it here, and since it's been sitting here, the boards have been slowly, slowly rotting away. If you guys remember last year when I um, did the video helping my dad, so we used this trailer, but I put down some boards for my lawnmower. That was when his lawnmower broke down, his grass needed cut, so I had my mower, the John Deere mower, and uh, took it in this, and um, I noticed that the boards were so rotten. I was so worried that this, that the um, mower was going to fall through these boards. It didn't, but I think it's time to go ahead and replace these. I went on ahead. Fingers crossed I did my measurements correctly. I already got the wood. <clears throat> got my wood here. Got my wood here. Got uh, two by tens and two by sixes, 12 feet long. And the trailer is, um, the trailer is six feet by 12 feet. So now to get my ball hitch out and Hook it up to my other truck. Yeah, I bought another truck. This truck isn't brand new, it's a 2006, and I wanted to get something that could, that had a tow package. Big Blue does not have a tow package on it. Now, it can, it can tow a trailer and things, but it doesn't have the extra oomph that a vehicle would need for, like, towing my horse trailer, and that's what I wanted to get this one for, plus... I needed or wanted to get something that seemed seemed a little bit more reliable than Big Blue and Little Red, the red car. It the red car right now is not not working. There's something wrong with it again. And uh, these vehicles were just tag teaming me so much that I was spending so much money in repairs. I wanted to get something that I w probably or hopefully won't have to worry about repairs for a while. So. I got the hitch on there. I'm going to pull my trailer out and clean it off and start trying to figure out how to remove those rotten boards. All right, let's go do this.
All right, now to clean this out, I got my um, hard garden rake right there. And I think I'm just going to rake this out and then use my blower to blow out the rest. Let's see how this works. I'm seeing a set here going across. See one there. See one there. Here. I hope that's just a loose screw or something because I do see a screw there. Um, hmm. Okay, there's one there. There's one there. Okay, there's one set here. I'm going down, going down. Um, hmm. I see a set. Oh, here it is. Yep. There's a set here going across. And then there's some back here going all the way across. Now. How do I lift this thing up so I can get to the stuff underneath it? That's the question. Hmm. I don't have jack stands. All right. I need to, uh, I need to put my thinking cap on here and I'm going to look underneath here and see what I can see and, and then go from there. Let's take a peek underneath. All right, it doesn't look too bad underneath there. Um, I just need to figure out a way to jack this thing up. Hmm. Hmm, I think. I think I got it. I'm going to take some cinder blocks and the jacks from both of the trucks. Put the jacks on the cinder blocks. I gotta block the wheels. Block the wheels so that they don't, don't roll backwards. Leave the gate down. And see how high I can jack this up. That's it. Okay, that's it. Alright, let me get some bricks. Hmm, I know I've got bricks. Let me go find the bricks. Pull out the jacks and get this set up. This might be a little janky and sketchy. Don't do this at home. All right, y'all, I got it. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to use the jacks for the back section, and then I'll use just the regular jack that came on the trailer to jack that up. That's plenty of room for me to get underneath there. I'm going to lay down some cardboard or something so I can slide around and get underneath there really good and get to... Um, removing the screws and the bolts all right I gotta go back to Lowe's to make things a little bit easier for myself or else I'm gonna have to unscrew every one of those screws by hand I need I need a 7 16 bit so I'm going back to Lowe's all right y'all it's, it's a bit later I got lazy, but anyway, they didn't have the deep set socket that I needed, so I ended up getting this ratcheting uh, wrench, and 
the bolts are breaking off. They're so rusted and I'm thinking that they're spinning in places. I'm trying to unloosen this. So I think I'm going to have to do something different. I think, I think what I'm going to have to do is just take my uh, circular saw and just start cutting the boards out. Just cut, cut across this way. Let's make a cut. Yup. And then take out as much of this wood and get it out of the way as possible. And then reach my hand underneath and try to get the bolts out. See that one right there just broke off in my hand. I mean, look how rusted and old that is. So, I think I'm going to need new hardware after this. But that's not a big deal. Uh, this certainly isn't as easy as I had it in my head. Not quite. But I'm going to do this. I'm going to get this done. Um, I'm trying to decide if I want to break, down, break out that saw yet or not. Or keep trying to unloosen these bolts. And... When I put these bolts back in, I'm going to do a little bit better, I believe. I'll be putting a washer underneath the head of the bolt because it's the head of the bolt is actually it's pulling through pulling through the wood and it's digging in and spinning around and making it even harder to get out. So, there's that. Ugh. And the gnats, the gnats are still trying to, trying to get in my face. Ugh. Okay. Ugh. Ugh. I'm going to try this a little bit more. I'm going to record it and see if the bolt is spinning around. Let's see. Okay, y'all. Had to do it. So I went ahead and set my depth on here. And I'm just going to make a line go straight across here. And... Hopefully, fingers crossed, fingers crossed this works. Okay, that was uh, sketchy. One of the boards collapsed right there while I was on it. <laughs> Felt my foot go down. Ugh. And then towards the end, I hit a nail over here. But I think this is going to work. Okay, it's working, but I didn't set my depth on my saw long enough, so I'm going to recut that and uh, have it cut a little bit deeper, and then I can get the rest of these out. Alright, got a little bit of a ways here. <laughs> Started today. I kind of gave up the other day. I just kind of uh, I was worn out, tired. My friend came over and we just talked, talked, talked until it was dark. And then her husband came over and then we talked some more. <laughs> then it was really dark. I had a good time, just kind of relaxing. Now today, back to work. And I've been out here for about, I don't know, about an hour or so. And I got a little bit of a headway there. Um, I can get 
the middle parts out but I might I'm gonna see if my if my jigsaw can get all the way up to the edge of that if not I may have to go buy a sawzall or I may have to just pound it out with a hammer and muscle it out of there but I'm on this last section here I already pull these out get rid of those and then I'm gonna go through and see if I can take that out we'll see We'll see what happens. That's getting me nowhere fast. All right, next thing I'm gonna try is um, hmm, jigsaw. I'm gonna try my jigsaw. All right, I forgot I had this this oscillating tool. This is gonna be. It's gonna be a tool that's gonna do it. Wish me luck. Haha. <laughs> <laughs> -ha. Okay, that's gonna be time consuming, but it's gonna save me from having to buy another tool. So, all right, I'm gonna be working on this for the rest of the evening and then I'll come back tomorrow and start cleaning up some other stuff on here. <laughs>